mess. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the studio. I am Sukhmani. How are you guys? How is life and everything on the other side of the lens? Let me know. <laughs> So before we dive right in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because you want to stay tuned for all the stuff that is coming your way in 2021, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you know from the title today that we are going to be painting a wall, a huge wall. So this is a project that came my way and I'm getting to paint a big wall approximately 12 and a half feet by eight and a half feet and i'm very excited for that even though the stuff that i have to paint is not something that i've painted before like at least not on such a huge scale but i think it is going to be fun and and we're gonna make like amazing shit so yeah so the project that i have here is where i have to make this smoke and clouds kind of thing on the wall so i'm going to take you guys through the whole process of painting this mural specifically about how i paint this mural not how it should be painted maybe there are different ways and everybody has to work on things that work for them so this is the things that worked for me so we're going to get through that so the first thing that i did was go through the colors that i wanted because we wanted to go with the monochrome theme and that is why we went with this ashy gray and charcoal kind of shades because yeah and because i wanted to be sure about how these colors are going to look on the final mural i went and painted a smaller version of that in my studio so that just gave me an idea about how these colors are going to behave and how i'm going to achieve that watercolor kind of feel on the wall without spilling so much <laughs> even though i did spill a lot For the next step, I went in and made a basic composition of how I wanted the clouds and the smoke to look on the final wall and painted the composition according to the layers that are going to come into play when we paint on the actual wall. So this gave me a clear idea about how I wanted to achieve that great depth and bring good values into the wall itself.
now we're at the site and ready to paint and the first thing that I do is uh, spoil the wall and I had to paint like the white all over <laughs> but it's fine so the second time I went in I was a little more careful and went with the underpainting and made like the basic shape of the composition that we had decided on and then it was just going over and over with layers of paint to achieve that effect that we wanted it took a bit of time and a lot of arm exercise and it was finally done So my client also asked me to add this symbol to the mural and it took a bit of time because I had to go over the paint again and again but it turned out so amazing. I cannot believe that I could pull it off but it was fun.
so now we're calling it quits on this project and i'm super happy with how it turned out hopefully i took you guys through the whole process and hopefully you guys enjoyed it too anyways if you guys already came in this far into the video thank you guys for showing your support and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye